Hi sir, good morning. Yeah, good morning. May I know your good name? Srivani Adhim. Yeah, Srivani. Can I have your resume? Yeah, uh, Srivani, like, uh, before the starting the interview, quickly introduce yourself. First of all, thank you for giving this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Srivani Anandam. I am from Nadia, currently staying in Hyderabad. I did my graduation in Sri Krishna Devaraya University with the aggregation of Sakriti Prasad. I have knowledge on Java. I am belonging to a nuclear family. My strengths are positive attitude, time management and adaptable to all environments. My short term goal is to get a job in a reputed company which provide long which provide great learning opportunities. My long term goal is to achieve a good position where I can build my career, which is helps to the organization too. My hobbies are reading books, travelling and drawing. That's all about me. Sir. Thank you. Yeah, okay. So uh, I think you are good at Java, right? So what is Java? Java is a objective oriented programming language as well as platform industry. Java is introduced by James Comsey at the uh, in the year of 1991 at Sun Micron Systems. Java is the first programming language which provides the writing code and uh, executing by using web. Java is using many devices like desktops, uh, desktops, mobile applications, embedded systems, and uh, games, etc. Yeah, okay, fine. So that's it. And so in Java, in architecture wise, we have a two types of files. So one is a dot class file and one is a dot Java file. So what is the difference between that files? No, oh, dot class file is contains the bytecode of the program. Okay. It is generated by the Java compiler. Okay. Dot Java file is contains the source code of source code of the Java uh, Java uh, of the program. Um, it is written by the program. Who has written the program? It was written inside the dot Java. Okay, so you said that Java is an object-oriented programming language. So can you assure that Java is hundred percent object-oriented programming language? No, sir. Why? Because uh, it supports uh, primitive data types like in short, double, okay. etc., which are not objects. In purely object-oriented language, uh, uh, they must be represented as uh, objects. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Java combines with both object and non object. And as well as like uh, Java does not support some concepts like multiple in inheritance okay, and operator overloading. So this concept uh, will not occur. Okay. So you said that like uh, it is a platform independent language. So how you are saying like why the Java is a platform independent language? Uh, because Java is using virtual mission. Uh, the virtual missions which take care about uh, bytecodes the difference between bytecodes in different platforms because uh, we can write Java program at one system run anywhere. Operating system. Operating. Okay, what is the virtual machine? Which virtual machine it is? JVM. Java. Yeah, okay, fine. So inside the OOPS we have a like four principles. So one of the principles is encapsulation. So what you know about this encapsulation process? Encapsulating the data and uh, corresponding vectors into a single model is called encapsulation. The central concept of encapsulation is uh, data hiding behind the method. Uh, the advantages of the encapsulation is we can achieve security. Uh, enhancement will become very easy. Uh, okay. So the mainly the mechanism is combining the code and data into a single unit. So that is the encapsulation. For security purpose, it was introduced. Okay, fine. So why we are creating a class variables in Java? Because to store data or attributes that are associated with the objects okay. of the class. Okay. Uh, the variables allows the to represent the characteristic or properties of the uh, object, and uh, it works in structured way. Yeah. Okay. And so. Okay, fine. Like we can access a uh, class variable throughout the class. Uh, I'm asking like a class variable we can use throughout the methods in a class. No, we can access. Okay. So, what is the difference between local variable and static variable? Local variables which are in declared inside the function, um, it is the default value of the local variable is garbage. Okay. Static variable 
static variable is declared in both inside or outside the function, the default value of the static variable is 0. Not about the 0. So, depends upon the data type it will change. If our data type is string, the default value is none. If our data type is like uh, double, our data type is 0, 0.0. So, it will change, depends on the data type. Yeah, uh, fine. So, what are what is operators in Java? Uh, what, arithmetic operators. Uh, uh, exactly. What is operator in Java? Operator. Operator which is specifies the symbols yes. or uh, to prefer the operations uh, of variables and uh, manipulating the values of the op uh, operations. Each uh, operation has uh, the specific uh, specific role. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there are some types of operators. Like automatic, logical, reason, uh, logical, Relation. relational. Yeah, okay, fine. So, what is conditional statements in Java? Uh, conditional statements is nothing but uh, making decisions in your code. Okay. Like every day we take decisions according to our conditions. Uh, we have four four conditional statements. If we, if else, uh, if else ladder switch statement. If is uh, Taking certain action only with the yeah, okay, okay, no need explanation. And there is another if nested if as ah, nested. Mm, so, okay, condition. What is statement in Java? Statement. Uh, statement in Java means a unique code of basic unit code which is specifies the uh, action or task. For example, it is, uh, it is nothing but a one instruction given to the program. So, what to perform? Uh, okay, so it is a statement. It is terminated by the uh, semicolon. No, no, statements are contained like a, you can see conditional statement, grouping statement, these are also considered as a statements. Okay. So, can you explain the main method in Java? Yes, sir. Main method which is like uh, it can run the Java program. The importance of the main method is without main method we cannot run any program in Java. Okay. So, if you can create multiple methods, but uh, those all are methods uh, like accepting the instructions. But without main method, we cannot able to run the program. Okay, so you it's have point of the yeah. Okay, so you have any idea about the numbering programs in Java? Okay, so my requirement is uh, just you can write the logic for reverse of a number. Just the logic for reverse of a number. So whatever you are written this, it will print the yes. 10 to 0 numbers. Okay. So exactly uh, what I am asking means, if you are taking 1, 2, 3, it should be reverse as a 3, 2, 1. Uh, not about the number sequence. Yeah, okay, no problem. Yeah, okay, so I think initially you said that I have a obvious like reading books. So which type of books you read? Right? Motivational type and uh, life success, how to get success. Recently, I read a book, uh, The Power of Subconsciousness. Okay. So, can you explain any basic summary of the, uh, that book? Uh, key to the success, sir. First of all, if you think positive, it will happen positively. Okay. Yeah, uh, fine. I think I done with my side. Do you have any queries to ask? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Give me.